days. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. You ain't got a front on me. I'm trying to start with you. We on the phone with it because I'm trying to run with you. Baby girl, it's been a minute since we've been on Ever since I saw you, shawty, we've been on Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today is day three of the So You Think You Want to Be a Mountaineer series and today we're going to be talking about meal plans, housing, and different things that you can do around campus. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified every time that I post. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with anybody who you think is looking into app or you know who is coming to app this fall. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is events and stuff you can do around campus so working out wise we have three gyms we have one in the student union we have the src which is on west side of campus hit up my last video if you want to know about west side of campus and also we have quinn which is also on west side of campus but is up a hill by the football stadium so they have different classes that you can take you can go swim in the src which is the um student recreational center which is on west side and you can go play basketball you can go run the track whatever they also host classes throughout the week at night or in a day in between classes or whatever they have like yoga um dance fitness cycling twerking tone i personally go to twerking tone it's really fun even if you don't know how to come you should still come it's just basically dancing and working out we do actually workout weights and all of that jazz so yeah it's a lot of stuff that you can do and also in the src they have rock climbing so they have like a little section with rock climbing walls let me tell y'all they may not look high but they are high because i have not made it all the way to the top yet i've only made it to the middle so you do that be prepared because i mean you're harnessing everything but it's scary it is really scary and like they have levels where you can be unharnessed if you if you want to do that because i know there are some people who come to app and already know how to rock climb but you, there's a certain level that you can go to being unharnessed so if you're into that type of stuff we do have that available so the next thing i want to talk about is meal plans they have like four different ones you can get low standard high or super um yeah so low is 135 standard is 1330 high is 1544 and the super is 1880 listen i didn't even know we had a super until i googled it but i don't know i mean if you eat a lot i guess you can use a super or like go to the market and buy food to cook or whatever but like i said with my standard 1330 i didn't run over but i know a lot of people did run over so just base it off how much you think you're gonna eat because most times you're not gonna want to eat in a calf anyway so just keep that in mind another thing about meal plans i talked about the express account in my last video as well so the express account is basically like your app card but it's like a money that you put on there you can wash clothes get stuff off the vending machine also you can use your meal plan to get stuff off of the vending machine as well and all the little cafes and stuff around campus like crossroads or um blended which is the smoothie place so you can use your app card there and also the um, vending machines which is in like every building every dorm it just comes off of your meal plan but the express account is like useful because you need to wash clothes and washing clothes is like 125 and you also can use it to like print or like if you run out of money then you can upload money to your express account and yeah so if you want to upload money if it's less than fifty dollars you have to go into the library which is pretty annoying but you have to go into the library put it into this little like vending machine type of thing and they'll upload it into your car but if you have if you want to upload over fifty dollars then you can do it online where i really think they should lower it to like 25 because who just got fifty dollars to just be uploading like it's nothing because I, I barely be having ten dollars but yeah so yeah that's it so the next thing I want to talk about is housing. It is to my understanding that freshmen don't get to pick where they live, at least not the first semester. And I guess you can change your room if that's what you want to do after first semester. So, yeah. I would suggest applying for RLC, look into them. You'll meet a lot of people who's interested in the same thing. I was in an RLC called ACES. And if you're coming into app and wanting to major in education or anything along the lines of education, I most definitely advise you to... Um, apply for that the application for that should be open if not after may like they should send you an email after you get accepted or something and they're pretty simple you can apply to multiple at one time and i know they have like a fitness one um a artsy one aces of course um what else there's really it's really something for everything like if you like to cook i'm pretty sure it's the R rlc for that 
So if you want to be around people that are into the same things as you, I would most definitely look into that. There are a lot of them and most likely you'll get picked into one of them. So yeah, and those are located in specific but I know that Appalachian um, Hall. I think that's what it's called it's on the east side of campus has one my building has one they're really all over the place justice has them so it really just depends on which one you choose so like i said in my in my video yesterday unless you live on west side probably your dorm is going to be just the two beds desk um wardrobes or um closets and some some dorms do have sinks and some dorms do have a little exiting where the double sinks are if you live in the llc where i live it's a sweet style bedroom so it's two bedrooms on each side two people in each bedroom and the jack and jill style bathroom if you live in mountaineer it's one bedroom one bathroom two people in one room and if you live in app heights you get a kitchen a living space two bedrooms and two people per room and also they also get their own bathroom per room so yeah but most of the dorms around campus are the basic traditional style but don't get don't get it twisted i'll be wishing i had some of the stuff that the um regular other dorms had like some of the dorms have like pull out desk on a desk like i need that or they have shelving or extra lighting i need that so don't 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 be thinking oh y'all gotta live there because some of them dorms be like more space more lighting better views so yeah I guess that's all I have for this video. This one was quick and simple. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the next video. And peace.